Welcome back to Fallacy February with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing our addendum to Fallacy February with illicit major and minor fallacies. These are going to be fallacies for the second rule of categorical syllogisms. That second rule, we remember, is going to be that any terms distributed in the conclusion must be distributed in the premises. We remember that the subject of the conclusion is going to be known as the minor term. If the minor term is distributed in the conclusion but not in the premises, it's going to be called illicit minor. And the predicate is known as the major term. If it's distributed in the conclusion but not the premises, it's going to be the fallacy of illicit major. Let's take a look. So, figure 1, A, O, O. All runners are athletes, some swimmers are not runners, therefore some swimmers are not athletes. This is going to be invalid because athletes is going to be distributed in the conclusion, that's our major term, but not in the first premise where it appears, so this is going to be illicit major. Figure 4, AAA, all squares are rectangles, all rectangles are quadrilaterals, therefore all quadrilaterals are squares. This is going to commit the fallacy of illicit minor because our minor term, quadrilaterals, is going to be distributed in the conclusion, but not in the second premise where it appears. That was illicit major and minor. Next up is exclusive premises, followed by affirmative from a negative and negative from an affirmative, and the existential fallacy. Also, take a look on the 100 Days of Logic for the five rules of categorical syllogisms that will be paralleling this series. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.